Are you interested in helping your community? Are you concerned about the homeless, literacy, or other community needs? Would you consider mentoring a young person, helping an older adult, or planting a garden? Then you're a perfect candidate to volunteer here. It's a web page designed to match your time, talent, and interests with a variety of volunteer opportunities right here in your community. Just visit www.volhere.org and enjoy a rewarding time doing what you do best. A service of the Resource Center. I guess, or a crackhead, whatever you want to call it. Just sit back and enjoy the film. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, is he here still? Yeah, you know. You got the stuff? What? Yeah. Oh, okay. Probably still in the background. Alright, hey, I'm gonna wear, um, I'm gonna wear a mask just in case, like, the DEA or something like that, you know, because I, I really don't feel like I can't get put back in, you know, I don't want to go back in, I got two kids. Alright, this better not be no trick. You okay? Alright. Oh, I shouldn't have called you, man, they could be tapping us. Alright, alright, hey, 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 alright, bye, bye. Where'd he go? I know he, I, he probably went in the house. Let's go. After him! Hey. I got you! I got you! Hands up! Hands up! I am playing with you! I got you now. What? Yeah. Kids, stay above the influence. Kids, stay above the influence. Hot way high. something bust us because what hello we don't care if your graphics aren't flashy or if your audio doesn't sound perfect or if you're not the world's greatest camera person we just want to see what you want us to see and to know what you would like us to know 
Your local public access television station has tools and resources to make this possible so that we can see what you see. It's the freedom to communicate, and it's only on cable. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. All those boys are much too much. Those boys. Underneath everything we are, we are all people. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united. Good evening, and welcome to Meet the Candidates. I'm your host, Paul Herring, and this evening I have in the studio Miss Jackie Popular, second ward council person running to keep her second word seat. We're going to get right into the interview, and as I've done with all the other candidates that we've interviewed, I need to start out with a simple question, and that's, tell me a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Paul. First of all, I'm honored uh, to be interviewed by you, and I, uh, I'm just excited about all of this, uh, the race, um, the new comings of the um, city of Flint, the new administration. Mm -hmm. It's just awesome. Uh, just a little bit about me. I am married. I have uh, one son, uh, Daphne Butler, and I have two grandchildren. Um, Patricia Butler and Isaiah Evans, okay. and they are handful. Uh, I'm a member of Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church, where my pastor is, the Dr. Henry Alford Jr. Okay. I sing in the Sanctuary Choir. Uh, I'm in the mission. I'm in Great Lakes District Mission, and um, I'm just an activist for my city, city of Flint, and a proud leader in this great city that we live in. Great. Well, you're on the council, and you've been on the council. I don't know, is this your second term? Or? This, this will be my second your term. So this, is this your first real election? Or were you appointed, or did you have no, to run for it? No, I had to run. I had to run for that seat. <laughs> I upseated uh, a gentleman that had sat there for 12 years. Okay. And not only that, Paul, I had to prove myself uh -huh. to the community. And I was willing to do that, to let them know who Jackie Foster Poplar was and what she was about. And uh, I went about that business, and I think I've proven to my constituents who I am, and I think they know who I am, whose I am, <laughs> and what I'm about. All right. <laughs> now, if you compare the first election to this election, is it easier or more difficult? I, this is much more easier because your constituents know you. You know, uh -huh. like I said, I went up against uh, a gentleman, Ed Taylor, who had been in that ward for 12 years. And um, from what I had gathered as I talked with the people, they were ready for a change. And so that change just happened to be me. <laughs> but it didn't stop with the election. Uh -huh. That's when your work really begins. When your people don't know who you are and you have to prove to them. That's when your work really begins. And the learning process of City Hall is not an overnight learning process. I have grown tremendously uh, in knowledge mm -hmm. of the community, the laws, and um, how city government works. Well, first tell me, how many people are, are in your race? I and believe it's, I have two upon 